For today, we're going to talk about how to set up a new document in Illustrator. Uh, that's where we want to start with any project. So I already have Illustrator open and ready to go for what we need. We want to go to File, New, or if you want to learn the shortcut, Command N on a Mac or Control N on a PC will also do this. Shortcuts are especially helpful. The more you do this and the more you're working on things, they go make things go a little bit faster. Uh, and Illustrator now has this window that gives us some defaults. So mobile for mobile, web for web devices, print for print, film and video. They give you some suggested most common sizes. So for print, we can see letter is probably the most common that you guys are familiar with already. Uh, the paper you see every day is most likely letter paper. Tabloid is the second most common size you'll see in print. Uh, and then over here we have some more settings. It defaulted to points. Uh, if you've had something open before, it might default to something else. But in this case, it's defaulted to points. I can just click to change it. I'm going to put it to inches since while I know what the conversion for points is, I don't think in points I'd rather work with inches. I do recommend that you choose the item that's the most appropriate for what you're working on. So for example, when I've worked on stuff for Europe, I would pick millimeters or centimeters. If I'm doing web, I would pick pixels. But in this case, I'm just going to pick inches to show you guys how to set up a document. After that, we have orientation. Portrait is the first one, which means the document is taller than it is wide. The second one is landscape, meaning the document's wider than it is tall. Then we have artboards. You can have anywhere from one to almost unlimited artboards. The main limitation is the overall size. You can't have more than about 10 feet by 10 feet in the document. So if that meant 200 artboards can fit in the space, that would be fine. Or it could mean one artboard, depending on what you're working on. Uh, just to show you multiple artboards loading in, I'm going to put a 10. Uh, then we have the bleed section, and a bleed is when we want to go have an image or a color block, type, whatever, going to the edge of the page. We actually bleed it past the edge of the page in the file so that when it goes on the press and they cut it, we don't get a little white line at the edge. Then we have the color mode. Um, CMYK is fine since we're working with print. If we were working with web or video, we'd want RGB. There are additional options, but for right now, that's plenty good for us. And um, we're going to go ahead and click create. And we're going to see that we now have a document with 10 artboards. So we've managed to set up our first file.